The Kenny Wallace Show is back. I went out to Yuma, Arizona, raced some dirt cars, had a really good time, celebrated my wife's birthday. We went to Scottsdale, Arizona, went to the big aquarium, butterfly farm. Wow, was that incredible. So while I was out in Arizona, big NASCAR news, big NASCAR news. Kevin Harvick, 47 years old, said that 2023 is going to be his very last year racing in the NASCAR series. Wow. Well, you know, I mean, let's just break it down. I told you that Kevin Harvick says 2023 is going to be his last year in the NASCAR series. Why? Why did he choose this? Well, Kevin Harvick, 47 years old, as we already said. He's done it all. How many drivers can you say have won the Daytona 500, the Coke 600, or as Dale Earnhardt Jr. says, the World 600, the Brickyard 400, IROC champion, all-star winner? You see where I'm going with this, right? Kevin Harvick has done it all. He's won the 2014 NASCAR Cup Championship. Uh, I mean, look, you get to a point in your life where you go, okay, I'm 47 years old. My kids are growing up. So I win another championship. I mean, I don't think that's going to define Harvick. Uh, a, a lot of drivers, my, my brother Rusty, Rusty was always adamant. Herm, I got to win another championship. Why? Well, because there's a handful of drivers that won one championship. I'm like, <laughs> I'd like to win one cup race. And, and, and you think you need to win another championship? Absolutely not. It is so hard to win a cup championship. And like I've always said, championships are meant to be. You look at Kevin Harvick. I mean, you know, when you say to drivers, would you rather win a lot of racers with a cup championship? And, you know, they say, oh, I'd rather win the championship. But when you look at Kevin Harvick, you know how people throw it around. He's done it all. No, Kevin Harvick has really done it all. I, ju I just told you, Daytona 500, Coach 600. It, it, I mean, go on and on. Look at it. Google it. The guy has done it all. Kevin Harvick has checked the mark off of everything. Uh, you look at a guy like Mark Martin, who is one of the best of all time, one of the probably the most respected race car driver in cup history. You know, when you say, who's the most respected cup driver in history? You know, Mark Martin's going to be right there. So, as far as the argument, Harvick needed to win a couple more championships. <laughs> that guy, he's the man. He's done it all. He's a badass. And uh, I think Kevin Harvick deserves to go out on top. Hall of Famer immediately, not even a thought. So, uh I've given you my opinion on how great he is. He's great. He's done it all. No debate about winning another championship. Uh, here, you look at Joey Logano. He's already won two championships. Is Logano better than Harvick? Listen, that's for us to go to a bar and start drinking some beer. <laughs> now we're splitting hairs, right? But, but let's break it down a little bit more. Why? How come? What? I made some nice, hey, I always say, Larry McReynolds, I got my notes here. Why retire? Well, you know, when you're 47 years old and you've done it all, you just want to keep winning. But you know what happens? You, you grab a piece of paper. You're at the racetrack. You're 47. You grab, you grab the starting line. And, and for shits and grins, you say to yourself, I'm going to look at this piece of paper. I'm going to see how many drivers are on this lineup that started racing with me. You know Harvick's had to do it. He, he might say, no, I've never done it well. He's had to do it. And Harvick goes, gets all the way down that list and realizes there's nobody left. Kevin Harvick is the last of the Mohicans. And that's a badge of honor. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Kevin Harvick is the last one left. You know, once you look at Kurt Busch, Kurt Bush retired. I mean, Harvick's it. Harvick's the last one. And, you know, you can fit in and you can act young 
and you can be at the driver's meeting, you can be at driver's introduction, but pretty soon you end up looking around and you go, man, I don't know none of these kids. You know, they, they want to talk about silly stuff. You know, I've already been there, done that. You know, these kids want to talk about this and that, and I just, I, I don't have anything in common. So I know Harvard can fit in with anybody, but I, I think, you know, in Kevin Harvick's case, you look around, and I know Denny Hamlin, you know, made friend, you know, said, said, said hi to Joey Logano. Remember that at Pocono? You know, his wife wears the fire suit in the family. <laughs> oh, Harvick's got some great memories. How about Harvick, you know, uh, jumping over the car to beat Greg Bipple's ass at Bristol. Kevin Harvick has given us so many memories. Uh, I, I, I got to say, you know, we look at Kevin Harvick's career and we go, I mean, to me, one of his most memorable moments of all time was his very first race. Are you, uh, not very first race, but, I mean, are you kidding me? Harvick jumps in Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s car and wins right away at Atlanta. That told us right there he was going to be great. So, uh, to me, that's Kevin Harvick's, that's Kenny Wallace's most memorable moment. Hey, Herman, what's your most memorable moment of Kevin Harvick? Well, it'd have to be right away, you know, putting all the doubters to doubt. He jumps in, you know, the late, great Dale Sr.'s car. It was number three. Remember, they changed it to number 29. He goes to Atlanta, and he wins. I mean, like, are you kidding me? That That's like being a rookie and, you know, winning it all right away and the World Series. Uh, he, he did it. He put all the doubters to rest. So I told you he's probably looked around. I, I, hardly, I mean, I know these guys. We don't got anything in common. Start feeling a little lonely. Then you look at his children. L let's look at Keelan, uh, his son. But, but there's the daughter, Piper. No, I want to talk about Piper for just a minute here. So Kevin Harvick's wife, Delana, good-looking lady, but she has a lot of tomboy in her, and Delana will tell you that. Delana Harvick was a really good race car driver. She really was. So I don't think Piper's going to get off that easy. I think Kevin and Delana Harvick are looking around and saying, look, you know, it's time to take care of these kids. Now, there's an old saying, you can make your kid a race car driver. And in this case, I, I think it's pretty simple. I, I know Keelan wants to be a race car driver. You know, and like Dale Earnhardt Jr. and like Chase Elliott, the, these kids, you know, Keelan has watched his dad on TV. He's absorbed it all. When you're a child and you watch, you know, your great dad who's an athlete, you just absorb it. You look at like Ken Griffey Jr. He had to watch his dad, Ken Griffey Sr., just watch his dad, and you end up emulating him. You know, sometimes it doesn't turn out that way. But when you, like I say, when you look at Dale Jr. and you look at Chase Elliott, they were just good right away. I think they emulated their fathers. They watched it. They become it. You know, some people say it's in the genes. Well, I do think it's in the genes. I really do. But I think when you grow up, if you're interested in your family's, you know, sport, you, you emulate what they do. So I think Keelan uh, is going to be great. I really do. Uh, he's over in Europe. He's running go-karts. Kevin and Delana have done it right. Look, son, you want to race? Yeah, Dad, I want to race. Okay, we're going to make you great. You, you know, you go through all the trials and tribulations. And Kevin said, listen, I haven't, I haven't been with Keelan but three times this year, and I think I can give him some shortcuts. And I really like what Kevin said. He said, I, I, I can help Keelan if I'm there. You know, we learned three times that th three times because Kevin can give, you know, Keelan some shortcuts, and and that's what dads are supposed to do. And, and as far as Piper goes, she's she's still a baby girl, but you know, mom Mama drove race cars, Delana drove race cars, so I think it's very possible that we could see something. You know, n not the first time in history, but I think we could see. I think we could see brother and sister do it i mean piper it piper can go as far as she wants to go and, and that's going to be up to her now that's that's just me uh now listen kevin and delana are nice to me delana and myself we communicate very little but she's very good to me and we share sarcasm we're both a, we're, we're both a little rough around the edges 
but we are diamonds in the rough. <laughs> I love Delena. So I think that's awesome. Uh, what they have going on, they've done it right. They've always been professional. When you look at Kevin Harvick, you got KHI management. Kevin Harvick is smart. Uh, Kevin and Delena are very smart. They, they, uh, you know, if you Google KHI management, Kevin Harvick Incorporated, you got Josh Jones right there. Uh, he, he runs it all and they represent some of the greatest athletes. I'm talking, you know, you know, fighters, uh, you know, uh, ranchers. I mean, you know, the, the roping of the horses. I mean, they, 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 do, they do it all. So Harvick is successful besides racing. Um, where are they going to go? Where, where is where is Piper and Keelan going to go? So so let's let's end it like this. Just like the great Bill Elliott, awesome Bill from Dawsonville, he sat down with Rick Hendrick, who owns Hendrick, and he said, "Mr. Rick Hendrick, this is what I have planned for my son Chase, and I'd like for you to be part of it." And Mr. Rick Hendrick said, "Okay, Bill, what do you want to do?" And it worked out perfectly. I think Bill Elliott laid the blueprint out. I, I'm a, I am a betting man. People go, I'm not a betting man. Well, I'll bet you a dollar that Kevin Harvick is sat down with Tony Stewart and Gene Haas and everybody there. And they said, hey, I, I'm pretty sure that, that Keelan's going to do it. And I would bet that there, there's something in place that's where uh, – Kevin and Delana's son, uh, you know, Keelan is going to be with Stuart Hobbs. It's just that simple. Now, it could go the other way, but it's not going to be hard. And I think you're going to watch Kevin Harvick and, and Delana. They're going to tutor these babies. Uh, you know, listen, I'm not a controversial guy, but but I, I just think, you know, because of Kevin Harvick's upbringing with his father, I think you're seeing Kevin, Kevin Harvick make sure – that he gets it right with his son. Kevin Harvick is a lover with his son and his daughter. They are going to do it right. And um, I think his age fits in just right. You, you, you look at Jeff Gordon. You, you look at, you know, Tony Stewart. You look at Bobby Labonte, Jeff Burton. All these guys have quit in their early 40s. And it's, it was a new phenomenon. But now, it, now it's just what they do. Uh, you hardly see any driver go to 50 years old anymore. And yeah, I hear you. Quit when, quit when you want. Well, okay, maybe for me and Schrader on a lower level, but when you're at the highest form of motorsports, well, you're still winning. Why don't you keep right? It just it don't work that way. The key is this. If you want to be like the great Rusty Wallace, yes, my brother, Rusty quit at 50 because he made it in the, in the chase for the championship. That's how you want to go out. Now, you, you can't always time it that good. But how wonderful will it be for Harvard to get in that chase for the championship, uh, go out like he came in, a winner. And I, and I just really like what Kevin Harvick has got going on here. All right, now listen, we broke it down. We gave you some inside information right there. Uh, I think we're a little more knowledgeable. I did listen to everything Kevin Harvick had to say. And the reason we decided to do this YouTube is because it is a big deal. Kevin Harvick is the man champion winner he's done it all all right until next time we'll see you later